Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV. It is the... You can see the date here, the 21st of September 2021. Taking a look here at uh, Polkadot. So, Polkadot's got a pretty nice run here. And that run is definitely to the downside. Looking at the three-week chart, you can see that, uh, you know, we've had our first... Looking like we're going to print our first three-week candle. Bears three-week candle in, uh, in the last nine weeks. The next candle that pops up here is uh, on the 4th of October. So we have a little bit left in this current candle for that to occur. A little over two weeks, I guess. Somewhere around there. Take a look at the weekly chart. You can see the nice rounded top here continuing south. We are uh, below uh, last week's lows, obviously. When you look at the... RSI, and I have no idea what's up. Oh, I know why, why this is doing it. Um, 50 and 40 are the oversold conditions. And these are the black lines are actually are 55 and 65. Those are the over those are the overbought conditions in a bear market. Because we saw some rejection up there on the daily chart. I'll just set those back to the bull market conditions. 90. And 80, so we are testing, again, the oversold level at 50 after we found support against 40. We'll see how that goes. But the composite index, I mean, everything's got a really straight hook south from the composite index to the percent B to the RSI. Everything points to continued movement south. Now, it could go down quite a bit, and we would, I mean, ideally, folks, what we would see is some hidden bullish divergence appear. But that may not happen yet. Now we go over to the daily chart. And this is what we've got going on. Might help if I actually have it on the daily chart. So on the daily chart, uh, this is the, the Fib retracement here is from the swing low to the strong bar of the move. Um, we're right up against the 618 Fib retracement, pushing down lower. Um, the percent B is down below 0.2. And the R size is still above 40, or just a hair above 40. So that's very bearish, meaning that really any further movement south is likely to be sustained. The, the composite index, it's getting close to these supportive lows, but if it's going to shift into a deeper corrective move, it could just keep going down lower. Very likely, folks, that we could see Polkadot retrace all the way down to the $18 range. Uh, that's where the 382 Fib retracement is along with the 2021 volume point of control at 1687. Um, you know, really, I, I don't know if it would go down that far. $20 seems more likely because that's a strong psychological number. It's, it's within range of the 50% Fib, and that's where single span B is at. Um, I like the long at the, you know, longing with the buy limit at $20. But for right now, it looks like we could really just see it continue further south here. And uh, I think that's the... That's the outlook. I mean, regardless of how bullish it may be fundamentally, mentally on its own, I mean, you have to pay attention to what's going to be happening, you know, in other markets, uh, like equity markets. There's a Fed rate decision tomorrow afternoon, Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. And then you also have the Evergrande issues uh, playing into the market. So everything, there's a lot of risk off, you know, going on here. And Cryptocurrencies are the definition of risk on. So, I mean, expect expect to see outflows of capital. And those just turn end up into, I, I feel like for me, at least they end up being buying opportunities. So I look forward to those. But we'll just keep an eye on it, update it as needed. Thank you for watching. From all of us here at Exchange Rates UK TV, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.